عسلام الناس الكل مرحبا بكم مرة أخرى في شين يتشوف بالفيا أكاديمي القناة التعليمية الموجهة آه لتلاميذ الأساسي والثانوي آه نجمو زادة تزورونا على البلاتفورم آه باش تشوفوا جميع الملخصات آه والتمرينات المرفقة بال... بالإصلاح على العنوان التالي www.elvia-6academy.com درسنا اليوم في اللغة الإنجليزية بعنوان سام أند أني موجه لتلميذ السابعة والثانية الأساسية. So let's start. We use some and any with plural nouns and uncountable nouns. So uh, let's recap. What is uncountable and countable? Uh, countable nouns are things which you can count. For example, flower, you can say one flower, two flowers, three flowers, some flowers. So uh, a countable noun takes as it has a plural form. However, the uncountable nouns are things which you cannot count, like rain. You cannot say two rains, three rains, some rains. Okay, so it doesn't have a plural form. Another example, information and advice. They don't take an S in the plural. So, single and plural, we say information and advice. Not informations and not advices. Some is generally used in positive sentences. Any is generally used in negative sentences. So, let's see some examples. I have some information for you about a meeting. So here, this is a positive sentence with uncountable noun. Some information. Now, to make this positive sentence into a negative one, we say, I don't have any information for you about the meeting. Another example. We met some friends for drinks after work yesterday. Again, positive and plural, countable noun. Another example in the negative form, I didn't see any friends there on Thursday. I think he will have some time to speak to you today. A positive sentence, some. Negative sentence now. I don't think he will have any time to speak to you today. So this is negative and uncountable. We can also use some and any in sentences without a noun if the meaning of the sentence is clear. Example, I didn't eat any salad. But we may eat some. So, some salad. Here we omitted the salad to avoid repetition. So, here we may eat some salad. But salad is already mentioned in the beginning of the sentence. So, there is no need to repeat it again since the meaning is clear. Another example Sean took lots of photos of the mountains, but Linda didn't take any. Didn't take what? Didn't take any photos. Let's move on. Questions with some and any. Generally, we use any in questions. Like, do you have any children? Do you know any famous people? But some is also used uh, in questions, but in certain circumstances, like first, when we are offering something, would you like some coffee? So we don't say, would you like any coffee? Another example, do you want some sugar for your coffee? Or when we are asking for something, could I have some salt, please? Can I have some fries with that? 
three, where we are suggesting something. Why don't we watch some movies on TV tonight? Why don't you give her some advice? So, some is used in these three circumstances. In this last example, some advice. Advice here is uncountable noun, so we don't say some advices. First, we said some movie because it is a countable noun, but advice is uncountable. So now let's practice to see if this lesson is clear enough. So uh, here, of course, you can pause the video, take some time to do uh, this exercise, and then you can come back later and uh, hear uh, the answers. So. Fill in the blanks using some or any. So here, sorry, or, or any. First sentence. I don't need money because I'm going to bring my lunch to school. I don't. So this is a negative sentence. So what shall we use here? Some or any. Any, of course, because any is used with negative sentences, but some is used with positive sentences. So, I don't need any. Sentence number two. He doesn't have pens, but I have pens. So, Negative and positive. So, what should we use with the negative or any positive sum? Any so he doesn't have any pants. But I have some pants. Sentence number three. Our teacher didn't give us homework yesterday. Didn't give. So negative again. We should use any. Next. I'm tired. Do we have time to take a nap? So, this is the question. Do we have any time to take a nap? Sentence number five. Do they have library cards? Again, this is the question. Do they have any? No. They don't have any. Sentence number six. Paul wants to buy new shoes. Positive sentence. Paul wants to buy some new shoes. Would you give me information about Seiru? So, so this is the question actually asking for something. So, we need to use some. Would you give me some information? Right here. Last sentence. Would you like coffee here? This is offering something. So we should use some. <clears throat> That's it. So uh, this is an easy task. It shouldn't take you more than, let's say, five minutes. 
Okay, let's remember, we use any with negative sentence and some with positive sentence. Again, we use some when we are offering something, uh, suggesting something or uh, inviting. <coughs> so this is the end of our lesson. I hope it was clear enough and see you again uh, next time. Of course, don't forget to like and share this video with your friends. And of course, you can visit us to our platform to see more uh, resume and uh, exercises with their direction. So, see you next time.